Welcome to this video. Let's have an introduction at the Rayrun BW03 wall panel. This wall panel has two versions. This is our AC powered version. We need a AC power here. And this is a battery powered version. The back is flat and it's powered by a cell battery. To install the wall panel, you need to open the back plate first. And then you can find a slot here and use the slot type screwdriver to put in the slot and twist and pry the back plate twist pry and open the back panel and for the brand new wall panel there will be an insulation tape here you need to remove the insulation tape for regular use the battery powered version is using our CR2032 cell battery and the battery lifetime can last for more than one year. This wall panel can turn on off light, adjust the light brightness, adjust the color, and uh, even adjust the color mixing mode. And also it has a sync function with four things or group function. And you can program the light to different group. Now let's have a look how it works with the lights. I have four light bulbs here. Now I will show how to pair the wall panel to the bulbs uh, without the group feature. And to pair the wall panel to the light uh, without the group feature, you need to power off the light and power on again. And within 10 seconds after power on, you need to hold press the on off and one key for about one second and then press this key, that means all group. Now let's have a look. Now the lights are already powered off and I power on the lights and within 10 seconds hold press the on off and one key for about one second and then press the all group key. Now all the bulbs flashed for several times that means the pairing already finished. Then let's have a look at the basic operation of the wall panel. Uh, you can turn on off the light, it's quite simple, just press the on off key and adjust the brightness. To adjust the brightness, you can use the slider to slide down, uh, that means dim down, and slide up, means dim up. And we also have a max and min uh, shortcut to the brightness. There's a max and min for brightness shortcut. Press the min means the minimum brightness. Press the max means the maximum brightness. And the slider also supports the slide and hold operation. So you can slide and hold to make a continuous dimming. That's dimming down. And slide and hold. That's continuous dimming up. That's for the dimming function. And for RGB or tunable white light, you can also adjust the color of the light. To adjust the color of the light, you need to click the color palette key first and then slide. The slider will change to color change function uh, in a short time after you click the color palette key. Now let's have a look. Click on the color palette key first and then slide. Now the slider function changed to the color changing. Also it supports the slide and hold function to change color continuously. After no operation for a few seconds, the slide function will switch back to dimming again. Now it's dimming again. I can go to minimum or maximum. I'll use a slide to dim the light. And for multi-channel lights such as RGB plus white or RGB plus CCT, you can even change the color mixing mode from RGB to RGB plus white or white only. To change the color mixing mode, you need to double click on the color palette key. Now the color is uh, RGB mode and I double click on the color palette. Uh, now the color mixing mode is changing to RGB plus white again. Double click. Now it's white only. And again, it's going back to RGB only. 
again, it's RGB plus white. So you can change the color mixing mode for the multiple channel lights. There's also a, a very useful feature for this panel for turn on and off the light. Because the on off function is the most frequently used feature. So if you need to touch the on off key very accurate, it's not very convenient for daily use. So we have a very special operation mode to turn on off the light. Just use a palm to pat on the panel. Let's have a try. Pat with the palm, it's on off. So you can use it like a traditional uh, panel switch. That's a daily use for turn on of the light. And also you may hear the beeper sound in the uh, wall panel. So there's a beeper inside of the panel. And if you don't like the beep sound, you can also turn off the beep sound. To turn off or turn on the beeper sound, you need to hold press on the power key for about three seconds. Let's have a try. Hold press. Three seconds. And you hear a beep sound. That means the beeper function already swapped. Now you operate the panel and there is no beep sound anymore. If you need to turn on the beep sound, the operation is the same. Hold press on the on off button for three seconds. And the beep sound is back. The wall panel supports sync function. So the digit key one, two, three, four, the default function is to change the sync. And uh, to single press the uh, one, two, three, four keys, that means load the sync. And if you want to save current light mode to the sync, uh, for example, I want to save this dimmed white to scene two. I just need to adjust the light mode first and then hold press the scene position. Now I hold press on two. Then the light flashed. That means the current light already saved to the two position. Now scene three is still blue. Now I press the scene two. The light goes back to what I just uh, saved. This panel also has the group feature. So I have four bulbs here. I can program the four bulbs to group one, two, three, and four. To pair the lights to group, uh, the operation is quite similar to the pairing re remote. You need to power off the uh, light and power on again, then hold press uh, the combo key, and then the target group key. For example, now I will program the first bulb to group one I need to power off first bulb and power on again. Within 10 seconds, hold press this two key and then one. That means program this bulb to group one. And the second, power off, power on again. Hold press, then two. Okay, the third one, power off, power on. Hold press the combo key and three. It's the third one. And the fourth, power off, power on, hold press this two key, and then four. Now I programmed the four bulbs to four groups. To activate the target group, you need to press the group key first, and then the target group. For example, I want to operate group one. I press the group key first, and then one. The group one light flashed, that means the wall panel only uh, controls group one now. You can turn on off or dim up or dim down on the group one. And I can also go to group two, then group two. And I want to change the color mode to a blue color. And you can also go to group three with uh, lower brightness. And you can go to any group. If you want to go back to all group, just to press this key again. And all lights flashed, that means the wall panel switch back to all groups. I can turn off or turn on all lights. And for the group function, if you didn't operate the wall panel for about more than 10 seconds, 
the group feature will switch back to all groups automatically. So every time you use the wall panel uh, after more than 10 seconds, the group function will for all groups. That's a basic introduction to the rerun BW03 wall panel. Thanks for watching.